I got back on the 24th from Rio and they are a little bit heavier than people realize. My heritage has always been like very in front of me, always. My, my whole family has always been very proud of being Cuban. My name is Dan and Leva and one of my favorite things to do now and always will be to uh, eat some great Cuban food. Yeah. Whenever they have mango smoothie, I try to get a mango smoothie. Mango is amazing. It's like my favorite fruit. I got it from my mom. It's my mom's favorite fruit, also. Yeah. I've always been surrounded by incredibly strong women. Always. I'm always very gracious to that. I'm very thankful. I don't feel like the female gymnasts are getting any more attention than what they deserve. You know, they've gotten an incredible amount of success. They deserve all and every attention that they get. You know, they're amazing. I've always been very imaginative. I've always had like a very big imagination. I've always been very into uh, superheroes and like the whole fantasy. And um, when I was little, I always wanted to like learn how to fly. You know what I mean? And I guess this was the closest thing to flying. Doing gymnastics was like the closest thing that kind of looked like flying. So I guess that's kind of what would help fuel that fire. First year, my mom took me to. The coach, um, straight up, right after the class was done, she went up to her. She said, "Please don't bring him back." <laughs> so you can imagine. I just, I was like, very uncoordinated. I wouldn't pay attention. I would never sit still. I would be all over the place. Is that? But my dad, he saw that I had like a lot of heart for the sport, a lot of determination for it. Paid off, I, guess. I came here to Havana, Alma de Cuba. My mom and I would argue because we're not from La Habana, we're from Cadena. So we would say that Cadena is better, obviously, because my dad is from La Habana. We always argue with him about that. But this restaurant, it's amazing. My grandma was the one who, she would be like, that's it? That's all you're eating? That's it? Yeah, yeah, have some more. No, that's not enough. That, here, have some more. <laughs> okay. I don't count my calories. Mm. Cuban, we don't, Cubans don't count calories. I'm probably going to be in Tokyo for the 2020 Olympics no matter what. I don't know if I'll be competing then because it's a little hard to make a third Olympic team. Um, I haven't stopped training, but I am going to take some time off of uh, competition, but I haven't really officially retired or anything. Um, but I am taking some time to do some other things that I'm, I've always been very, very interested in, like acting. I, I really, really want to get into acting because it's always been uh, another immense passion. Of mine. 